Agency about Austin attended your last meeting. Yes, sir. Do you want to give us an update on, on that, please? Be pleased. Uh, Mr. Chair, yeah, we had a presentation by Daryl Muse, the Utilities Director of the City of Valdosta, at our Governing Board meeting on the morning of February 12th in Live Oak. Uh, he presented a lot of what you had seen at your last task force meeting as well, uh, what they've done pretty much since 2009, uh, and what they're doing right now. The, uh, the bulk of, uh, you know, they're, they're starting to work on things, and they have, you know, talked about the six million gallon front end extra pond that they're uh, planning on building. We've gotten word since that meeting um, that they've gotten the permits approved for that, and they're working on the engineering, so that's continuing to progress. So it looks like a lot of, uh, you know, that they're making a lot of progress. There was a significant amount of discussion in the meeting, in our meeting, uh, about that, you know, from our board and from members of the public within the um, within our boardroom, and the uh, we also had uh, DEP and uh, Florida Department of Health in attendance. Uh, Mr. Bob Vincent back here uh, was also there, you know, present. Um, some of the discussion was, you know, in terms of their planned activities. I mean, and you've seen you know, they've got piping systems that got to work with and. They went through the number of miles of uh, sewers that they've got to rework, and they were questioned by the board as far as how long that would take. Some of that has, I think, showed up in local papers as well. It was you know, a pretty, uh, the, the, the build out on some of those types of fixes was in the, in the, on the order of many decades. Uh, presumably, they'll go through a prioritization of some of those locations. You know, and that, again, that was a lot of the discussion that was had. But, um, it's you know starting to move in the right direction in any case, but I think there's a lot of uh, you know the, the progress. Hopefully, could be accelerated, but a lot of that would depend on funding that the city of Eldosta gets and when they can get it. And we saw some of that as well in the last task force meeting when we were uh, and you all had questions about it when you were reviewing their budget and their timeline. As it, same type of issues had come up. Um, I'd also like to. Uh, Note that one of, that the city of Valdosta had come to that governing board meeting at the at the request of our governing board because of input that they had received from constituents, you know, some some of you all as well. And in the course of the meeting, they had asked that um, district staff come back with a report on data that had been uh, that has been collected by DEP, by the Florida uh, by the Florida Department of Health and the Swanee River Water Management District. Um, I'm here with Darlene Velez. She's our uh, Water Resources Bureau Chief in charge essentially of our water quality data collection and she's been involved with the data collection efforts on the river associated with spills from Valdosta over the past year. So she's coordinating a workshop. That's how, so we'll be presenting that data in a workshop to our board on March 12th, our next governing board meeting. And the Florida Department of Environmental Protection and Florida Department of Health will participate in that uh, workshop as well and it's just you know, presenting data to our governing board because uh, that didn't happen uh, last month. Is that not 9 a.m.? The work our board meeting starts at 9 a.m. Workshops tend to be around lunch depending on how long the meeting, you know, what, the, what the, our main agenda is like so it's a little bit less structured. Uh, just you know, follows the board meeting and any committee meetings that may occur. So, either right before or right after the lunch period, depending. Commissioner Cordero. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So, Tom, at that workshop, is it the, is it the district's uh, intent to present the consent order and um, what is not happening under the consent order? And if it's not, could it be? I don't know that our intent was to do that, but I think it could be. I, mean, yeah. I think that's important. Um, uh, because ultimately we're, I think, well, this body, at least from the meeting we had two, two, two months ago, the consent order and the permit is what I'm most interested in making sure that they're following. Uh, the data can be, um, lots of folks can read data however they want to read data. Uh, so that, to me, that would be second. I mean, the request that we got from our governing board was for data, however, so that, and that's, the, that's part of it. We'll, we'll certainly be presenting it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank well. you, John.